politics, history, conflict, globalization. How do we translate these concepts without shoving them down people's throats? We give them to John Oconfra and interweave them around the subject of environment. This is Leon reviewing Purple for the Barbican Young Reviewers. Purple, almost by definition, is unnatural, it's man-made, and Oconfrey uses this colour to try and put across his ideas on how we should be talking about climate change in today's society. This is, of course, paired with social issues and the modern politics we face today, something Oconfrey has never been afraid to do. So you walk in and you already start to hear very ominous, very conspicuous sounds. They're not really scary, they're more enticing, more inviting. So you do want to follow through and see what happens. This is quite good because it's a free exhibition. So if it's enticing you without even seeing anything, you're, you know you're in for a good time. First thing you see is a sort of homage to American Gothic. You have some Amish looking people in a field, kind of like this. Funny how that is. They're surrounded by oil drums, clocks, water. You get a sense of purity, but there's some contamination in there. When you go to see a show about the environment, stuff is there to jar you. You almost expect the information to be slammed down your throat, but I didn't get that. I was almost welcomed by it. You're then met with what appears to be oil drums. You definitely get the sense of this is being used for something else and then it's just been thrown away. Oil, of course, is destroying the environment, but then it's also helped and made us prosper. It makes you question what new information am I learning? So next up comes the main course, the pièce de résistance. A conference six-channel video installation. On the screen, there were six stories, all geared towards the environment. Some were about conflict, some were about the industrial period. Some of it was archival footage, some of it was raw footage shot by Comfort himself. Comfort was quoted saying that he was very excited to take on this challenge, and I think he took it on pretty well. Immediate feelings are ones of confusion. I guess adjusting to six screens is always going to be the case. Once you take the time to settle it in, understand that you shouldn't really be watching it chronologically. You can just pick and choose when you want to. You'll enjoy the show. So what I didn't like about the exhibition was how Akonfra structured his positive and negative arguments. Positivity started and ended the showing with um, pictures of mothers birthing, babies crying, sort of looking into the future, looking prosperous, then ended with children running in fields, giggling, laughing, it's all going to be happy. But then sandwiched, wedged even, in the middle, you have really jarring images of scientists testing animals, killing them, saying how the environment has really been affected by us and we should do something to change it, but we're doing nothing about it. How can you sort of form an argument this way when you've kind of given us loads of information, but then kind of left us being like, oh, but don't worry about it? So something that was quite prominent to me was the images of the woman on a yacht. A lot of the time she was interjected with a scuba diver doing really random weird stuff. Just swimming on a table. She was eating while he just read the paper or just sat in full scuba diver costume but nowhere near the water. Once you get over this initial feeling of confusion and you start to take in the other screens you understand that this certain type of life, whilst it goes on, the environment is still being impacted. This applies to both the lavish life and the mundane. Another thing that stood out throughout was ice. It was in every shot and almost every movement. Something that was quite subtle about it was that it was mostly still images. It's an interesting take on the ice caps or conversation. We're used to seeing stuff crashing down, but just to have it silently just stand there while you consume everything else, you definitely can't leave without saying that you forgot about the ice. I would say purple hasn't changed my views on the environment, it's more enforced what I already know. What I will say is put a new angle, a new spin onto ideas I've had about governments and how they affect the environment and the world and the people that live in it. Of course, talking about the environment these days, it's hard not to politicise it, but you can enjoy this exhibition without thinking, I need to go and change the world right now. Like a lot of good art, in my opinion, Purple prompts us to talk about subject matter in both an existential and intimate manner, showing you don't have to be an expert to express concerns for the environment. With the Earth now experiencing climate change to devastating effect, Purple couldn't be better suited to invite everyone to the conversation.